But uh, uh, fifth, I, I want also to say that the, I thank you, all the countries in the region. First, I want to thank all the countries that presented candidates. I want to thank Panama. I want to thank Haiti. I want to thank Mexico. I want to thank Colombia at the beginning. I forgot someone. In Uruguay, in Uruguay, my dear friend Daniel Salim. I think that this is a this is a clear demonstration about how the countries love this organization, respect this organization, have the interest to strengthen this organization. For the first time in our history, we ha we had had five candidates, six candidates at the beginning, five candidates, and this is a clear demonstration of the high interest that the countries have to strengthen this organization. So I very very uh, proud and very happy. I'm a public health worker. I, I want to thank not only the countries that supported me, that voted for me, but all the countries in, in, in this region. We, we work together with you. It's not easy to, to follow Dr. Etienne's leadership, but I do believe that with the same commitment that we have to strengthen health, to strengthen the quality of life, and in our vision, we work together. Let me switch to, to Spanish a little bit. I am very proud as a public health care worker. I think that any public health worker would be proud to lead an organization that is 120 years old. So my commitment is to continue to uphold the same values that we have always defended, solidarity, the desire to have all countries working together in coordination so as to improve the quality of life and the health in the region. Also, I wanted to thank my country, my country for their support. I want to thank the minister, Marcelo Quiroga, who is here, and Mario Brandelli. I want to thank them for their support. Also, I want to thank so many people, people that sent me from different countries in the region, their congratulations, their expressions of support, asking how they could support me. And they were all from the public health arena. They understood, I understand that what was at stake was that we have to face many challenges in many of the countries. This is a challenge for the organization too. So that in the next five years, we will be able to implement all the lessons learned during the pandemic, strengthen each and every country, take into account the interests, the specific priorities of the countries, in each of the regions. But I am certain that with your support, we will be able to work in great coordination and accomplish our purposes. So thank you again, and long live the Pan-American Health Organization.